Let the proud but dying nation kiss the last generation. It's the year of the pill, age of the gland. We have landed on the moon, but we'll clutter that up soon. Our sense of freedom's gotten out of hand. We kill our children, swap our wives. We learn to greet a man with knives. We swallow pills in fours and fives. Man does not live, he just survives. We sleep till he arrives. Love is a corpse, we sit and watch it harden. We left it oh so long ago, the garden, garden. Hey, this is Doug Van Pelt. Today on Heaven's Metal Podcast, we're talking about Larry Norman. Larry Norman, he is the father or the grandfather of Christian rock. Jesus Rock is the label that was used at the time. I saw Larry Norman when I was nine years old in front of 100,000 people at Explo 72 in Dallas. It was this giant concert, it was a free concert. I believe Love Song was there, Johnny Cash was there, and believe it or not, Chris Christopherson was the headliner there. Born again, movie star, singer, songwriter. Had lots of conversations with Larry, and I'm just gonna share some thoughts on the late, great Larry Norman. Um, I brought up that concert to Larry one time in a conversation and he said that yeah, Chris Christopherson came off the stage frustrated after having sound problems saying to himself well I guess the devil got that victory and I think Larry Norman had a nice smart reply to him I can't remember what it was but basically saying you know uh, you shouldn't give ground to the enemy like that you should uh, find a way to overcome that but that's another that's another video blog had conversations with Larry about the rapture. You know, he uh, penned the song, I Wish We'd All Been Ready, which is like the soundtrack for the Jesus movement, for the pre-tribulation rapture followers, for uh, the charismatic renewal, and for, you know, for a lot of us who like to talk about the end times, that was kind of the soundtrack. And it was kind of like, you know, you need to be ready because when Christ returns like a thief in the night, if you're not ready, you'll be left behind. Anyway, I told Larry that uh, I've been pre-trib, mid-trib, and post-trib, and we kind of had some conversations, and I think he kind of shared my viewpoint. This was in the 90s we were having this discussion, maybe early, yeah, it, was in the, it was in the 90s, maybe the year 2000, we were having this conversation. I had a nice conversation with Larry about the John F. Kennedy assassination, because he's gone on record with his liner notes, talking about, he thinks the, you know, Hoover played with the motorcade and doctored the, the photos that went in Life magazine. So Larry Norman was a grand artist. He was a genius. Um, he's a great composer. His trilogy that came out, he released an album after he left the band People called Upon This Rock. And I believe that was RCA Records? Anyway, had a picture of him kind of flying through the air. And uh, But then, then he came out with a trilogy uh, called Only Visiting This Planet, which was album number one. So Long Go the Garden, which was number two, and In Another Land, which is number three. Each one of those albums ended with the words of the name of the album title in it. And the, the song lyrics I quoted at the beginning of this was from So Long Go the Garden, which was the lyrics. Uh, on Only Visiting This Planet, the last words of the last song on that album was, Don't ask me, I'm only visiting this planet. So uh, Larry was one of those guys that he just gave you the whole package intelligent lyrics, thoughtful lyrics, and he had, you know, this was when an age of vinyl. He had album covers to look at, he had extensive liner notes written, and there was mysteries to be solved and intriguing things to read about and Larry and his thoughts in his liner notes. He is greatly missed. Um, there was a documentary released about him called The Outlaw Larry Norman, I think it's called, which delves into his life and brings up accusations about him being a pathological liar and uh, interviews with people who said, you know, he ripped him off business-wise, uh, interviews with ex-wives and whatnot. Uh, you know, maybe that's true. Maybe he's got his faults and maybe they're documented accurately there. It's um, kind of a drag that, you know, even though the documentary is being worked on while he was alive, that he wasn't alive to offer up uh, an answer to his accusations. You know, I like fairness. I like being able to face my uh, accusers and stand up and answer for stuff like that. Anyway, four minutes and 38 seconds have gone by. It's way too much length for one of these video blogs, so I better sign off. But uh, listen to Larry Norman's trilogy. That's his uh, best work. Uh, he had some fine songs that came out after that. I had him, I actually signed Larry Norman to a record contract. 
I have his signature on a contract. I had him perform a song and record a song for the Mother of All Tribute albums, and he got to pick a song. And actually, I helped him pick it. I think I even suggested, why don't you do Jesus Freak by DC Talk? And he, his eyes lit up. He thought that's a great idea, and he did it. And uh, it's a really good version, so check that out. You know what? Just for listening to the podcast today, here's a sales pitch. Don't trust what I'm about to say. Look at my eyes. They're probably beady, and there's dollar signs. I will sell you a copy of the Mother of All Tribute albums for $1 if you order it at my Square uh, account. I'll put it up on this uh, at the end of this. I have my email address to send me questions, have me talk about some other artist or other questions you might have, and subscribe to this playlist on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching the Heaven's Metal podcast with Doug Van Pelt. Hey, that's me.